Greetings, everyone. I am Lord Malvern, and welcome to my R Europa Universalis for multiplayer campaign, uh, Minor Power Melee, starring me, Torior, Hello. and uh, Arthur Next Games. Hello, everybody. I'm gonna unpause. Continue. All right. Well, uh, so I'm still in a couple coalition wars. Uh, Austria has called in, <laughs> called in everyone, including. Uh, Artinex and uh, Torior, so this should be fun. Uh, my uh, one of my provinces, Rupin, is currently being sieged down by Gerard Assman. So yeah, that's that's nice. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> that's the I'm name just, of the general. Yeah, Gerard Assman. Yeah. So I'm I'm just sitting in Wien recovering manpower, and uh, yeah. I don't suppose so, you would lend me your army for a little while, would you? Meaning, well, uh, attach it to the army that you're sitting under. Oh. I want to go kill Hans's army, which is in my territory. Alright. I I'm currently have my, uh, have it checked off to attach, anybody can attach to it, so. No, yeah, but you would have to, you would want to, I would, uh, you would click the attach forces button, um, in the army button. It's a, it looks like a little puzzle piece, it's right under the create your unit button. Ah, okay. So, if you attach it to my army, then we should have enough to go kill... Um, which one of Hans's armies do I want to attack? Alright, I just attached you. Uh, let's go attack. Let's go attack this one. Okay, and I am in a small war against Ferrara and Genoa. I've already sieged out Ferrara, now I'm trying to do the same to Genoa, but they have a large stack of rebels with a strong general in their capital, which is a bit of a problem. And it already wiped one of my armies. It's like, But otherwise it's going well. It's like Poland's chased the ass man into Bohemia. Yeah, he stack wiped him. All right. Well, I'm sure that's not the last we'll see of Gerard ass man, though. <laughs> <laughs> Whose general is that? <laughs> That's Mainz's <is'> general. <laughs> now, Mainz is a one province minor, so. No, no, that might be the last we see of Gerard S, man. It's probably. Aman or Asman or something like that, but Asman sounds better. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Let's see if I annex Ferrara. France twenty seven aggressive expansion. Hmm, a lot. Mm. This battle did not go well. Hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah, so Sorry, I didn't get that. Oh, this battle where I'm attacking the Hans's troops with our combined forces is not going well. We had a small advantage, but we were not lucky. Oh, he lost 666 war score. Yeah. That's ominous. Yeah, actually, in one of my uh, tutorial videos uh, about rulers, I called the uh, 666 general a godly one, and I only caught that later. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Might offend some people. <laughs> that is kind of funny. <laughs> I just... No. I didn't want to offend anyone, but... I, you're right. Sienna... Alright, oh, Brunswick's really like pieced out. Our... Okay, go on. Brunswick is just pieced out, but of uh, the other coalition war, uh, the uh, the the monster one. Let's see here. They just got war reparations and paying ducats to them. That's that's not too bad, I suppose, for them. Could have lost land or something.
I wonder, I'd like to take three provinces in this war, but I might get another coalition like before. Um, That's the problem with HRE. It is the problem with the HRE, yeah. It's, um, it's dangerous to expand too quickly. I've been expanding very slowly. Hmm. Nobody would join me against the Pope. Everybody loves him. Well, that does kind of make sense. Mm, kind of. Maybe when the uh, Reformation starts. Oh, did our army get... My army gets stack wiped. It did? Well, it looks wasn't, like it. It didn't get, uh, I don't think it got stack wiped in that battle. It must have happened afterwards. There's a saying in Poland that translates roughly to uh, it's a good habit not to lend or uh, borrow. <laughs> good advice. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. The hands have failed in their assault attempt on my capital. Um... I think I'm gonna go ahead and start. Uh, I hate to spend the money on it, though. Oh, it's still your capital. You didn't move it yet. I couldn't move it until I finished coring Holland, and I didn't finish coring Holland until after the war broke out, and I can't move it when I'm at war. Mm. Yeah. All right. Uh, I can get military tech six. That will help a lot. Okay, another switch over. Almost ready for my first victory since since last week. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Okay, attached to me, Venice. Uh, let's see here. I just don't have to build all the mercenaries, but... Do I want Corsica? Exactly. Hmm. Mm, let's see here. Well, Munster isn't willing to, to to peace out with me on. The, oh, here they are. Actually, they just offered consent to concede defeat. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's that's a nice piece. No, no, I'm not taking that. No, I am going to make you bleed. And my capital fell. War exhaustion, here we come. I never actually finished getting rid of it from the last war, and here I'm getting it again. You don't have any armies, or are they all north? Ah, uh, no, they're busy sieging Mainz right now. I, it's not a match for the Hansa's army. Mm, yeah, I can see it now. It's close, but it's not quite a match. Lost my good general, unfortunately. Yeah, and got a crappy one. But not a problem. Just give him more troops.
What do you want from this war exactly, Lord Marvin? Do you want to take uh, Mecklenburg or even more? I would like Mecklenburg, yeah. Just give me... Give me within striking distance of the Hansa. Mecklenburg's been in, been a... Been my rival since the start, really, so... This war's been going on so long, I've lost all my power projection because I haven't been able to get any uh, get any uh, rivals. Mm. Yeah. Uh, mains will pay you know twenty eight. That... You know that we are at a hundred uh, war score with mains, right? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Lord Malvern. I no, don't, I. I don't want to suffer a bunch of war exhaustion. I just, I just accepted the peace deal at the same time you did. So. Oh, really? So apparently, I'm, I'm over. Yeah. Did you both guess the benefit? Uh. Well, I'm out of the war, and I did get the spoils of war. Yeah. Uh, did I get spoils of war? It's gonna be hard for me to tell because I'm getting spoils of war from war missions from Brandenburg. And I got the money that I demanded in the peace deal for sure. So that's kind of weird. Uh, what was I going to do? So again? if you did get the money from the peace deal, then it worked. Uh, cancel my military access. Yeah, the peace. Yeah, I definitely got the money. Just realized <laughs> I've been over diplomatic relations cap because I've been having military access for like, been losing one diplo point a month for like probably a year. Um, and the Frisian Nationalists are back. Oh. I really hope they don't fire. They're 90% with a 0.6% chance. A 1.2% chance every month. I can't really get used to playing on Speed 2 all the time. It does take some getting used to. Just watching my armies build. Can I rival them? Barbant has been expanding like crazy. I can rival them. Yeah, I will. Let's fabricate a claim on them. I'm amazed the Burgundian, Burgund, Burgundian inheritance event has still not fired. Jesus, yeah. Might never. Oh man, I, I haven't looked over on that side of the map in a little while. Oh, man, that's that's quite quite a fair amount of border gore there. It's quite a fair amount of Scotland. Yes, it's just it's just three provinces. <laughs> hmm. France, would you like to be my ally now? Almost. So get some aggressive expansion soon, so it might not happen. What's your total base tax, guys? Uh, is there a way for me to look at that easily? Economy screen, maybe? Uh, go to, yeah, economy screen down on the left. Tax base. Uh, 56.94. Uh, 61.73. Mm -hmm. You get a little bit point of points from that. 28. Vessels. 28. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you're about to get a bunch more, though, right? You're about to peace out? Yeah, but I'm about to get uh, aggressive expansion for that as well. And I'm I'm a bit worried what that will entail exactly. Okay. If this revolt doesn't fire in the next two months, it won't. I forgot. What's I, the what? Mm, you mean the Burgundian inheritance? No, I have Frisian nationalists are at ninety percent, but they're at each of their provinces is now at point zero point four zero point two percent revolt risk. So as soon as my war exhaustion ticks down two more points, it should go away. So I'm just Let's hoping see. it doesn't. I don't get the one in two hundred chance. Of course, you never know. 
Uh, I was going to say, I kind of messed up. I bought a new level of admin tech, and so now I have to wait to get back up to 200 admin points to move my capital. So I'm losing some money. I wonder, would Milan join me if I fought the Papal State? Oh. Oh, Austria just got out of the Munster War, so I'm probably going to want to uh, see if I can negotiate a peace treaty here soon. Yeah, because that's pretty much. Yeah, why don't I'm just going to pause it for a second here and uh, go for okay. it? See what I can get out of this. All right. It's funny, all the six six sixes that are coming up. When you pause it, I have six hundred and sixty six ducats. Huh. Interesting. Still trying to save up for that embassy. Hmm. And I am being very liberal with my loans, so I have a lot of inflation, but we'll take care of that later. Yeah, you said the same thing in your Byzantium game, like, a lot. <laughs> I just <laughs> thought it was kind of funny. Yeah, I'll take care of the inflation later. As soon as our economy is not totally crippled. <laughs> I currently have a better relations over time advisor as my only advisor, but it's really nice for helping me burn off that aggressive expansion. Oh. I'm using the statesman. Yeah, he's better, but I, I couldn't. He, he's a my statesman is a plus three advisor, unfortunately. My aggressive expansion has dropped down to the point again, where I think when this claim on. Uh, Uchtrecht finishes. I think I'm going to go to war with Brabant. Unless they have a strong ally. They don't. Ally with Aachen. Take some more Dutch bland, since I have a Dutch as an accepted culture now. So it looks like they're willing to let me uh, make uh, Mecklenburg a vassal. Which, uh, you know, that's uh, that, that would be pretty nice, I suppose. You're going to be I, at, I, like, nine out of four, four relations now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> no Diplo points for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the main issue, I suppose, is that I am going to have a, a pretty pretty fully loaded uh, plate when it comes to diplomatic relations, but I've been playing like that for a little while now. Eh. Yeah. Right, so you're going to take that? Uh... Yeah, I think that's probably going to be the best deal I can get from them. So, I'm going to do that. I'll unpause it. Alright, well. Got three vassals now. <laughs> that's that's a bit dangerous for me, I think. Oh. Oh, Brunswick doesn't like me anymore. Wow, you have a lot of aggressive expansion. And a lot of land. And a lot of land. It's true. As long as you keep winning those coalition wars, it doesn't really matter. Right. Mm, let's see here. Alright, got my rivals set now. Austria broke their alliance with me. Oh, no. Oh, that is not good. That is going to be a problem. It is, yes. Why are they... Oh, okay, they're, I see they're dropping. Of course... It, could, it would be nice to attack Naples if they lost the personal union under Aragon. Naples is just the perfect size. Uh, vassalizing Naples is like 98 or 96 worst or something like that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I did that in, in my Byzantium playthrough as well. They are the perfect <laughs> size to be uh, to be vassalized. Okay, well. Finally rolled a good general. 
My military power is friggin' disgrace. Uh, that was the uh, that was the uh, timer. The time. Yeah, I'm gonna hire. Okay, so general. Lord Malvern. All right. Well, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, be sure to click on the like button as it does help out the channels. Of course, please subscribe for future updates, and be sure to check out the other perspectives on Torior and Arthnex Games channels. And, of course, as always, I'll see you next time. Take care. Goodbye. Bye-bye.